next episode, Chris flies back to Brisbane for his son's 18th, and my dad flies up from Tasmania to spend five days with me at Barn Hill Station. Good morning. Well, the time has come for us to pack up and say goodbye to 80 Mile Beach. We have absolutely loved our stay here. To be honest, I'm very excited about getting to Barn Hill Station. So Chris is going to be flying to Brisbane to surprise his son for his 18th birthday, which is very exciting. But for me, I'm staying here and my dad is coming up from Tasmania. So I'm really, really excited to be spending some time with him. All right, Chris is nearly done with the tire pressures. Time to hit the road. First stop from leaving 80 Mile is uh, Sandfire. Need to come here to get fuel, obviously, because Pardue is non-existent anymore. How's my shades nice too, by sunnies. the way? Ooh, look at these things! Woohoo! Oh, I've got to move. I've got to move. Um, Sandfire. Quick bit of advice: get here early because at the moment, literally, well, not right now, but in the current state that the place is in, and Pardue being closed. The lines here get freaking huge. People are waiting hours here for fuel. So, hey, can you take the camera? I've got to move forward. Sure. Can you get me a toasty? I want a toasty and I want a cappuccino, please. Do you want your sunnies back, by the way? Oh, you can keep them. They look good. No, on it's you. all right. Here. <laughs> I'll leave him with my sunnies. I'll go in and see if I can get him a toasty. So, I'm not actually getting him a toasty. I've walked through a pretty little archway and found myself in a really cool place. So, I'm going to explore here. Then I will get his toasty. I'm too busy filming, I didn't get you a toasty. Uh, well, better get in there and get one, eh? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Mm. Is it good? Mate, there's nothing like a roadhouse toasty. Right there. As bad and as tacky as they can get, but mate, they are good. No tomato. No tomato. I don't want to... <laughs> Radio. So we got a little bit of a twist to our adventure at Barnhill Station. <coughs> so we pulled up yesterday afternoon, didn't we? We did. Raced down to the beach quickly for a quick swim and now we are back on the road. But there's a bit of a twist because we don't have the caravan anymore. We lost the caravan. <laughs> we lost it. No, we didn't lose it. I'm on the way to the airport, so I'm excited. So, so my little adventure at Barnhill Station has come to an end, unfortunately. I'm actually only gonna spend one night there or two nights there. Um, I am racing to Brisbane. This is a pre-planned, uh, very, very secretive, so only myself, Miriam, Miriam's parents and my parents know about it, but it's my son's 18th tomorrow. So he doesn't think I'm coming. He's like, Dad, don't come, mate. You know, it's very expensive to fly. And we're like, okay, buddy, thank you, mate. You know, we appreciate it. We'll be there with you in spirit and all that sort of stuff. But little does he know, Coop, that I'm coming, mate. Uh -huh. And we're actually going to surprise him. So the plan is tomorrow they're going to take him out for his first official beer. And I'm going to, so the plan is they'll Skype, I think, or FaceTime. And then I'm going to literally be about three or four metres behind him. And I'm going to answer my phone on FaceTime and say, how you going? And then pretty much bump into the back of him. So It's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm excited. We're doing a lot of... Uh, pre-planned little secret stories so he thinks that I'm still up here so we'll pre-plan them and Miriam will load them up tomorrow through the day and um and he'll 
he will have no idea. And he, the second we found out Chris was flying back to Brisbane, I called my parents and was like, Chris is going away. Do oh, of course, want, yes. Do you want to come up? So my dad is flying in half an hour before I fly Chris out. flies out. Yeah. So dad's staying with me for four, four or five nights and he'll be with us for one night when Chris gets back and then he flies out. Yeah, so anyway, it's all worked out really, really well. We both get to see our loved ones. Yeah, so that's the like, last week's video where we talk about the emotions of um, not seeing family. I get go I've got goosebumps now. I just we get goosebumps, mate, when we don't get to see our family, and the, the, when we know we're going, it's so exciting, isn't it? It's exciting. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to open the canopy, and we're going to pre-film a little me having my first beer with him, with him or having a beer with him. But I'm not going to actually drink it because it's a truck anyway. So I right. literally just go Burp, and then um yeah, this chuck is, it out. This is all acting. Acting, <laughs> acting. All right, let's do it, hey. Alrighty. Rightio. So here we go. So this is. Plan A of our little, um, what do you call it? Come on, help me, mate. Help me, help me. <laughs> Chris has got his actor's hat on. Yes. So we're going to stage our first little story so Cooper thinks that we are still here and Chris yes. is having his beer with him. Yeah, so it's literally, it's 20 past 8 in the morning. We're pulled over in a little stop bay. Um, yeah, rest stop on the side on the, of the road. On the Great Northern Highway. Highway. Um, and I have one beer in there. Now, this beer, I actually, <laughs> I owe Craig a beer for, for this one, mate. Mate, this is one beer that you left in my truck after we had some nice drinks around a campfire one night. Unit, the unit, mate, Craig, I owe you one frothy, bro, but I saved that one. I saw that you left it, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> This could come in handy, mate. So, so Chris could easily have gone and bought a carton or a six pack just to get that one beer. But I'm not, because you as you know, I don't drink beer anymore. Or I'm trying not to drink at all anymore. So I'm gonna grab this frothy anyway. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh dear. All right. A Han super dry. That's, all right, Craig. That's interesting. Thanks, brother. At least it's a low carb beer, mate. So you're thinking <laughs> of my belly here, bros. All right, you ready? Uh, do you, can you film it? Can you go wider? No. You can't go wider. No, I How about, okay, we'll sit the phone. No, 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 we'll do it like this. So we'll sit the phone down. Technical difficulties, okay? We'll get there in the end. Maybe I'm gonna put the phone here so you got, hang, oh, I got it. I've got it, I've got it. Metal in the canopy. All right, I'm just gonna press record now. So we've got it. We've got it. All right. So there's the phone there and there's you guys there. All right, are we ready? All ready right. to do this? Yes. And let's go. Happy birthday, Cooper! Happy bloody 18th, brother. We're so proud of you, mate. You're yeah. A, yeah, you're an absolute legend, dude. So what I thought I'd do, Coop, is I've got a beer, mate. So I'm going to have my first official beer with you, mate, because we're both 18. So, <laughs> mate, and yeah. All right, you ready for this, buddy? You ready? <sighs> and here we go, brother. Happy 18th, dude. Love you heaps, buddy. And um, we'll see you in September, I think. What do you reckon? Yeah, see you in September. Yoo-hoo! Cheers. Happy birthday. Skull, skull, skull. Don't be doing that. Ah, I can't skull, Coop. Yeah, don't you do that. I know you won't do that, mate, because you're a sensible, sensible boy. You're not like your old man, mate. But... Oh, he's nothing like Chris, by the no. way. Nothing at all. Happy birthday, buddy. We'll give you a call a little bit later on, dude. So have an awesome morning, mate. Bye. Bye. And there you go. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. All right. Craig, the unit. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. That's sacrilege. I know, like, I'm going to have to do it, but there's He's... two reasons, mate. Number one is I'm not drinking, and number two... It's a Han Super Drive. I'm driving, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a truck, mate. Sorry, brother. Anyway, I'll just put this in the bin there, um, and yes, I owe you a beer, Craig, but anyway, all right, we'll keep going then. Let's keep going. We'll keep going. We're going to get to Broome. We're going to go have some coffee. We're going to go to Bunnings. We've got actually a bit of stuff to do, because we don't fly. I don't have to fly out till two o'clock, so... Yep, let's go. Let's All get right. there. Let's hit the road. Oh, and just... Oh, no, you know we've left the van in Barnhill, so... We have. Yeah. be interesting taking that to pick Dad up at the airport and knock Chris <laughs> off. I don't want to be telling that back. Oh, <laughs> let's go! Here we go. This is a different form of um, transportation, the one that I don't normally like. I prefer just to go in my truck, but hey, I'm not driving four or 5,000 k's back to Brisbane, mate, so... Are you excited to see your Dad, babe? 
I'm super excited to see my dad. I cannot wait to see my dad. It's been a very, very, very long time. Yeah. Oh, Ross, hopefully I can see you, mate, before I jump on my plane and you arrive. But if I don't, I'll see you in my like three days My dad just said anyway. that um, he's arriving right as Chris is leaving, so they should just press their faces against the windows and wave at each other as the planes yeah. go past each What do you other. think of my new uh, heatwave glasses too? Do you like them? They're very, very Ooh, you can see the camera in it. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm, um... I'm going to take this with me too so I can film the whole thing. I want to film the surprise. I want to film the work. So, fresh thongs, mate. I just had a blowout the other day, so I needed to um, get another. Oh, 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 oh. God, I love fresh habits. See this, darling? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now I'm worried, mate. Now I'm worried. Ross, can you please make sure she does no burnouts in it? I just don't want this thing destroyed, all right? Are you filming me, filming you? I'm filming you, filming you. My dad's plane has landed. And my plane's about to take off. And I think he's probably going to get on the plane that my dad's getting off. Maybe I'll have his seat. At least be nice and warm. I hope you haven't farted on it, Ross. <laughs> yeah, I'm replacing this man with the other important man in my life. Hey. So goodbye. Bye. See you, on See you later. Coop, I'm coming for you, mate. <laughs> Leg one of this trip back to the East Coast is on its way, mate. Uh, it'll be a late night. I think I'm going to get in at midnight and I'm going to be ready to surprise you, buddy. Let's go! Wheels up and on the bird. Dad's on gate duty now. Everything is just You're doing my job, Dad. Uh, You're yeah. on, on gate duty. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. It is the first day here at Barnhill Station with Dad and without Chris. So Chris is right now on his way. Actually, he's probably already with Cooper, surprising him for his first beer together. Um, and Dad and I have decided we're going to go on the hunt. What are we looking for? We're looking for the, the lost city. The lost city. The lost city of the foreshore at Barn Hill. <laughs> Apparently it's about 700 metres that way. Dad went for a bit of a walk this morning while I was doing a workout and he found a bit of a trail up there, a bit of a path down to the beach. So we're going to go and see if that leads to the lost city. Yeah, I hope so. I left him a machete at home, so I hope it's a well-trodden track. <laughs> Indiana Jones, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> this is the track to the lost city. It's about 700 metres or so along the beach. We'll probably make it out from where we are, but we're going to see how we get there without any injuries or bruising. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this is the right way. We're nearly here and my calf muscles are burning. How are your calf muscles? Yeah, probably getting to the uh, well done area. Yes, the sand is soft, makes for a nice workout. I'm going to show you the lost city of Barnhill. So Dad's got it all figured out. He knows what was where. So give us a bit of a, a bit of a guide. Well, I think if you go from left to right, I mean right to left, just to keep you on your toes, you can see there the rocky outcrops that sort of mimic the the outer part of the the city before you get to the battlement that you go through into the into the moat area where there would have been a drawbridge. You could see this big 
column in the middle there, you'd see the cables coming down from there, and I'd wind it up, and the bridge would uh, go the wrong way. But doesn't matter, it doesn't <laughs> impact the theory. So then we come into the city proper, and you've got to see all the battlements around there. And as we go around the back end of that, we'll probably see that there's a little bit more of that sort of formation continuing. But it certainly does um, stir your imagination up to see what it might be like back in the day, so to speak. <laughs> That's where we're headed. There's the citadel straight ahead there with the pinnacle on the top. <laughs> there is too. Look at it right up there. Just landed, landed pretty late, so we've got a um, connecting flight now, gate 10. Uh, we got let off early. Um, everyone else is still sitting on the plane, so we could get off and run to our next gate. Next leg, Perth to Brisbane. I'm coming, Coop, still coming for you, brother. This is definitely not um, broom weather. Nice, rainy, cold back in Perth. So. Landed. We're back in Bris Vegas. It's 12:25. Can't wait to get to bed. Old Cyril, the legend, my old man. He's sitting there waiting. Oh. How you going, mate? Good, mate. How are you? <laughs> Ready to go to bed? Yeah, All right, let's go to bed. We'll get up nice and early, eh? Hey? Nice and early. Yeah. Thursday morning, Coop's birthday. I called him early this morning. He thinks I'm two hours behind. He thinks it was like six o'clock, so four o'clock our time. The plan has worked. He's got no idea what's going on. Got the old man now, he's gonna take me to pick up a car from the legends at Llewellyn Motors. We've got another G uh, GMSV coming. We got up my old lady there, she's sitting there watching on, she's on Facebook. Look at her, she's in her PJs. <laughs> How you going, Mum? I'm good. <laughs> Alright, let's get to Llewellyn's and get a car, hey? Let the, let the plan keep going. Yeah, I had to do that, Mum, yeah. Say hello, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, awesome team here, mate have supplied me with a LTZ uh, 1500, pretty stoked with that, these things are gorgeous inside by the way. I'll uh, show you a quick little video on it hey, when we get to, when we get going a bit. So check out my ride hey, Silverado 1500 LTZ, this thing is sexy as inside, if you haven't seen the new interior, make sure you check it out, they are just such a stunning car, look at that. Massive thanks to GMSV, um, Llewellyn Motors at Ipswich. So it is 11.30, so the plan is to meet at 12.30 in the pub. I did hear a vicious rumour that him and my daughter Ayla actually uh, have got like sneaky suspicions that I'm here. The only reason is, is they tried calling me last night uh, several times while I was on the plane. Obviously my phone was off. So they're like, oh, this is weird. You know, he's normally always got his phone on because of Starlink, all the stuff. So we've thrown him off the sniff, filmed a heap of stories yesterday in Broome, but we didn't post them until now. So all this morning, uh, we've been posting them up. Fingers crossed, he doesn't know, and my daughter doesn't know. Anyway, we'll get to the Sands, uh, Sands Hotel in Cleveland. Let's see if we can surprise him, hey? So. We've walked along the beach, and I think that if there are gonna be rock pools, they're gonna be somewhere around here. Let's see. You found the rock pool, Dad? Yeah, fantastic. Good foot washer. Call the pet the paddy pond. The paddy pond. Petty. Oh the petty pond. <laughs> It has been so good having Dad with me here at Barnhill Station while Chris is off in Brizzy. Um, he's actually sleeping up in the penthouse. I will show you that in a minute. But he came with me just now to film an episode of 10 Questions with ADU. He stepped into Chris's shoes. So I'm going to drop a link to that below. And um, 
you can rate, rate my dad's impersonation of Chris out of 10. <laughs> dad's sleeping in the penthouse again tonight. See, that's actually the bushwhacker did go down. And might I point out that I reversed the truck right to the marks that Chris left for me and I did it first go, didn't I, Dad? That's right. See, I'm not making it up. Dad'll vouch for me. It's already unlatched because Dad was in it last night. But you just lift like that. I do it a bit differently to Chris. He leans in and then leans out, which is a bit scary to me. So I just do it this way. Gotta give Dad his little awning. There we go. And then you just pull it in. Ta-da! One. Your bed's ready, Dad. He's got USBs up here to charge his phone and his watch and his iPad, whatever else. Good view from up here. Yep. Wow. And there we go. Going to do your wave now. Mission complete. Okay, so the plan has changed. Todd is actually going to get Coop to FaceTime me. So I'm going to have to hold this out to the side, out like that. And then um, I'm going to have to film with this as well, doing FaceTime. So this is going to be a bit of a juggling act, but here we go. He's calling. Hey, bro. What's going on? Oh, just having a beer. Oh, having a beer, eh? Hey? Jeepers. Yeah, I had to have one earlier for you too, mate. Don't worry about that. At literally at like 8.30 in the morning, mate. 8 o'clock in the morning, so. Oh, you look, you're looking 18, mate. Thank you. Oh, gee, you're looking great, dude. What the hell? Hell yeah! <laughs> hey. Happy 18th, bro! <laughs> Did you know I was here? I, I had suspicions. <laughs> I had suspicions because last night we had no service for Yonks, and I'm like, I'm like, it's, it's, me and Ebony were talking about it. We were like, oh, he's probably on airplane mode or something. And then, like, all of the stories that Marion was posting yesterday, yeah. you went in a single one of them. Yeah, but we put stories up this morning and throw you off the set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, Save go to YouTube, bro. This is all filmed on YouTube. Oh, so. Everybody say happy 18th to Coop. Todd, happy 18th. you're a legend, brother. Thank you so much, no mate. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to enjoy this beer anyway, so. <laughs> oh, I'm crying, mate. I'm emotional. Beautiful. What I'll a pansy, mate. We're going to get you that beer. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Oh. Look who we got here. We got Missy. Were you shocked as well? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fine. Talk I also had suspicions. I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> so this is my lovely daughter, Ayla. <laughs> well, the time has come for us to head into Broome to collect Chris from the airport. Then we're going to come back here. We've got one night um, before we check out tomorrow and Dad flies out. So it's been absolutely amazing having Dad here. We've experienced all the good stuff there is to experience at Barnhill. We've gone up the beach, we've gone down the beach, we've watched the sunset, we've done the pizza, we've done the disco, we've wandered around, we've chatted with people. It's been absolutely amazing. Hill. This is the last morning that Dad is going to be here. Yeah. Are you sad to leave, Dad? No, I am a little bit, yes. It's been really lovely to be here and spending time with you and for Chris too, for a short time though. You got one night with Chris? Yeah. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. I enjoyed it immensely. It sort of inspired me to encourage your mum to up stakes and move out, I think, as in get on the road again. Yeah. Yeah, so. 
come over and explore WA maybe. Yes, I reckon. I'd, li I'd like to do that. It's pretty incredible. Hey, this is the first time you've been to this part of Western Australia. Yeah, this far north. We've done the Margaret River. Uh, that was with a, a rental car, but I'd like to do it. I think the the trip over with the um, Nullarbor might be a bit daunting, but I guess you just take a bite at a time. Yeah, you do. You'll be right. I think Mum would enjoy it if she gave it a chance. <laughs> yeah, well, I think she would too. Yeah. All right, well, I better get inside and continue packing up because I think Chris is ahead of me in the let's get ready to go game. It's been so good having my dad here and yeah, it's really sad to say goodbye, but I think the good thing is we know this year we're heading to Tassie for a few months. So it's not gonna be years until I see my parents again. Um, and we get to see the kids in about six weeks as well. So hanging out for that. He really, really can't express how important and how special family time is. For now, time to hit the road, get dad here.